Well, hi, I am Julie Lefebier, Director of Communication for Salem, and today I'm with Joni Salazar, uh, Salem's Mission Team Leader. And we are talking today about Salem's March Mission Focus. And so Joni, would you share with us um, what is the mission focus for this month and um, just why it was chosen and uh, any details about that you can share about the mission focus? Well, um, Heifer International has been a part of Salem for several, several years. And I thought it'd be great to still continue our uh, love for Heifer International and to honor our sister in Christ, Joan Irby, you know, because she was passionate about Heifer Inter International and, um, you know, she would be thrilled that we're doing it again this year. Um, Heifer International uh, has been around for quite a few years. They work with families in the United States and 20 other, 21 other countries around the world. Um, they, they did mention that they have, that there's 821 million people around the world that go hungry every night. And with the COVID-19 pandemic, it's causing a global hunger crisis and small scale farmers hold the solution to feeding these communities. Their mission um, works to end hunger and poverty in partnership with the communities we serve. Our programs support entrepreneurs around the world creating lasting change from the ground up. It begins with the seed investment of livestock and ag or agriculture followed by mentorship to help pro project participants build a business and ultimately to gain access to supply chains and markets. Now, Heifer International believes in passion of, on the gift. And what that means is that it, it assures that each participant in the program becomes a donor and gives the animals offspring to another family in need. So if you buy them one goat, then if they already have a goat and they have offspring, you're supposed to give up another person the other one. So that's the passing of the, of the gift. And the, this concept helps build community and enhances dignity and participation in each project. The families continually give to others, ensuring self-sufficiency one family at a time. Now, Heifer's key concept is that each participant must pass on to others some of the offspring of the farm animals they receive. This practice ensures that each participant in the program becomes a donor, enhancing dignity and participation in each project. It also helps communities become self-sustaining. So there's lots of different things that you can help. Um, they're talking about that a lot of the girls stay home and do not get educated. They stay home and they work in the fields and that most of the boys go to school. So there is a program there at, at Heifer International and it teaches the girls, if they don't go to school, it teaches them how to take care of the farm and how to take care of crops and other things that go on in the farm. So I, there's many different programs, not just animals. Um, but you know, things like a goat would be $120. You can buy two goats, you can buy, you know, a bunch of sheep or honeybees is, an, is a different thing you wouldn't think about, you know, cause it does give them honey and so, you know, there's, there's just all sorts of ways that, you know, people of Salem can contribute um, and, and just in different areas in the yeah. same organization. That sounds wonderful. So when I think about giving someone a goat, um, I think about, you know, giving them a goat, but that's, uh, that isn't what happens. We, we would purchase, we would send the money to Heifer and then they would give them the goat, correct? Yeah. That's how that works? Yeah, you can specifically say, I want to buy uh, a flock of chickens. And 
they're supposed to a flock of chickens is twenty dollars. Hmm. So you you know if you say a flock of chickens, then that's what they're going to put it towards. You can also put it in a memory of somebody, and they will send that person uh, a card that says you someone has bought a flock of chickens in your memory. Hmm. You know, and so it's really nice way to you know to help others not just around the world but in the united states too sure yeah they, wow they mentioned that in the southern uh states um where the uh heifer international has helped quite a bit that's wonderful wow so in order to do that we would go to heifer.org right h-e-i-f-e-r.org and there's yes. a place there that we could to click to give right yes okay yes there's there's also things that you can buy um that are pretty neat uh items that have been made all over the world oh wow so it, it was interesting to look up some of the facts um there's so much that heifer does that you don't even think about that is great. Good. Mm -hmm. And I know that we have the, the code set up for if you give by text, the code is also heifer. And you can also, we can also send our uh, offering for this or our giving to this, um, this wonderful ministry through our offering at church, whether that's online or um, sending a check to the church office or um, however we normally do our offering, we can add that into it, correct? Yes. Yeah. Good. All right, anything else that we can do to stay involved with Heifer? Anything else that, that you saw in your research, Joni, about Heifer that you'd like to include before we end today's little call here? You know, people will just have to um, look online and see in different ways. I mean, maybe down the road, Salem can do some kind of fundraiser that would be kind of nice to get the whole congregation involved. That would be nice because, you know, doing something like that even it's even more meaningful sure yeah and i like how you're tying the memory of our wonderful joan irby in with it because this was a passion of hers wasn't it she loved heifer international and she left me before she passed away she left me tons of information um that it's been fun to look at she's kept them throughout the years so some of it's kind of old but it's kind of neat to know you know, what they thought years ago and what things are different now. Yeah, great. Well, we will include all those links and all those um, things we talked about, the, the links to giving in uh, the body of this message in the text. So uh, be sure to look for that. But um, thank you, Joni, for sitting down with me for just a little bit today and, and talking about this wonderful ministry and our mission focus for this month. Sure, thanks. Uh -huh. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.